This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Okay, so how did you get on with that one then? <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, so what have we got? So remember, uh, I think A, what you should have got is that you had, was it £100 today and then in a year's time at 2%. Uh, if the inflation is 2%, that's 102 isn't it? Uh, the US dollars, that was probably a little bit more tricky, wasn't it? If it was £100 a day at $1.5 to the pound, that's going to be equivalent to $150, isn't it? Uh, if that's going to increase due to inflation at 4%, if you multiply 150 by 1 1.04, I think that gives you, is it 156 Okay, uh, so £102 or $156 is what you have in part A. And then for part B, is it that you divide the dollars by the pounds to work out the dollar to the pound exchange rates? Uh, working that through, I think you end up with a hundred or one point five three dollars to the pound. Uh, you're never going to have to do that A and B section in the exam. You would have to calculate the exchange rate in one year's time, but not go through that long-winded process that we've just done there. Okay. Uh, you would need to do this, which I have written in at the bottom. Okay, You take the current exchange rate, which is there at 1.5, isn't it? You multiply it by 1 plus the interest rate in the overseas currency divided by 1 plus the base rate. Okay, uh, So that's 1 plus the inflation rate uh, divided by 1 plus the inflation rate. Remember, the one at the bottom is always the one quoted to the pound. Okay, sorry, not the pound. I say that because I'm based in the UK, uh, but to the base currency. Okay, so whatever's quoted to 1. Okay, excellent. Everybody happy with that? Brilliant. Let's go through there and finish off the chapter by having a look at the example there. Uh, PPP2, so purchasing power parity 2, much more towards exam style. Okay, as a question, it says we want to work out the exchange rates in one year's time in part A and two years' time in part B, and it's currently there at $1.70 to the pound. Okay, uh, inflation in the US is 5%, the UK is 2%, it's quoted dollars per pound, so the pound is the base currency, isn't it? So in A, we take my exchange rate, is it of $1.7 to the pound, multiplied by, is it 1 plus 5% as the overseas, divided by 1 plus, is it the 2% as the base currency, uh, the one quoted to 1. Uh, tap that into your calculator, and does that give you $1.75 to the pound? Okay. Uh, and then in part B, it wants it in two years' time. So we need to take the rate in one year's time, which is 1.75, which we've calculated here, haven't we? Okay. Uh, and then multiply it by the 1 plus the 0 0.05 uh, divided by 1 plus 0 0.02. Okay. Uh, does that give you rounded to two decimal places uh, 1.8 to the pound okay uh, so be careful for two years you need to work out the exchange rate in a year and then use the one year rate to then work out the two year rate okay and again we're assuming here that there has been no changes in the rate of inflation Potential exam questions could have inflation in the first year that is then different to what then the inflation is in the second year. But just adjust for it accordingly. Use your first year inflation, your rates in year one and your second year inflation rates in year two. OK, the only way in which things could potentially be slightly different within the exam is instead of having purchasing power parity theory, you could have interest rate parity theory, which is exactly the same theoretically. But instead of looking at the differential in the inflation rates, you look at the differential in the interest rates. OK, so for every example that we've done so far, change the word inflation to interest and it works in exactly the same way. To work out the future rate, you take the current rate and multiply it by one plus the interest rate for the overseas currency, divide it by one plus the interest rate of that base currency. OK, there you have it. 
That's chapter one done and dusted. So get stuck into that revision kit now yeah, and start working all the revision kit questions in relation to chapter one. Other than that, hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you there in chapter two when you begin it. Take care. Bye for now.